Damien Summerside here at the Progressive Automotive X Prize with Jonathan from the Western Washington University team. Did I say that correctly? That is right. Lovely. Um, you have a, a pretty sharp looking vehicle back here. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, this is uh, a car that we've built at Western Washington University. It's a carbon fiber monocoque hybrid electric and it's been primarily built completely by students. It's got a Honda Insight drivetrain and it also has a full electric system stop, stacked on top of it. So we can run the big electric motor, it's an 80 horsepower okay. electric motor with its independent lithium ion battery pack. Okay. Or, or we can run the Insight system that has its electric motor, its 13 horsepower electric motor, and its gas system. Wait a second, you have two electric motors in we this car? We have two electric motors in this car. <laughs> okay. It's, it's um, essentially two cars in one. It's, it's everything that a, that a normal electric is, we uh, have that system, and then we have a full Honda Insight system as well. This car is built out of recycled carbon fiber that has been donated. Where does one get scrap carbon fiber? It's mainly from the Boeing 787 Dreamliner scrap. Uh, there's a few companies where we live that, that make parts for Boeing. So there's about $125,000 worth of carbon fiber we estimate in this vehicle. Oh wow, <laughs> that's, that's a lot of expensive material. Yeah. I'm Eric Lenhart. I'm the director of the Vehicle Research Institute at Western Washington University. We have carbon fiber honeycomb integrated into the chassis mm -hmm. in several key areas as a front impact structure. We have also have the reinforced carbon fiber structure as a roll structure. Okay. And so it has a full roll cage. Having two drivetrains in the car is an unusual choice, at least in the, with the cars in this competition. Um, how did you come to that decision? We feel that uh, 300 miles is a minimum acceptable range. It's very expensive to do with a battery pack. Our compromise is to have two drivetrains. Mm -hmm. And that means that during the week, you want to drive to and from work. We know most people only travel 40 miles or less a day round trip. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be able to do that all electric. And then when you want to go to grandma's house or go across country, you can go ahead and do that on gasoline. And of course, there's already an infrastructure to handle that. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about your performance in the competition so far? Well, I think considering we've still finished the events, that's the main thing. I mean, that's really what we wanted to come here and do, is we want to make sure we get through each event. And we want to meet the, the at least the minimum standard. Check out the website for streaming video, live telemetry updates directly from the cars, and you can see other video blogs that I've been doing.